Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we take a look at those really old pro engineer features that you can't even find in the interface anymore. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the ear feature. Just a reminder, these are a class of features called anatomic features. In order to be able to use them, you have to change a configuration option called allow anatomic features. Change that from the default no to the value yes. Then you'll be able to find it from the command search uh, and also you can add it to your common tab or any other tabs that you have in your session. So anyhow, let's take a look at this ear feature. I'm not going to explain it because I think it'll maybe become a little apparent why they call it an ear after I show it to you. and. I was trying to think of the use cases of this. Maybe it's for creating tabs, it might be, have some uses in electronics, but essentially it is going to be like a flat wall that is bent at an angle, I guess. So anyhow, the first thing that we're prompted in here is for the angle that the ear is going to be bent. And you can do it at a 90 degree, or you could do it at a variable angle. I will select variable and then done. And now it's prompted me to select a sketch plane. I'm gonna sketch on this surface over here. It's asking me if I'm okay with the viewing direction. And by the way, this is the way that you used to set up sketches in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier uh, with this process. I'm okay with that viewing direction. I will click the OK button. And then we have to choose a side of the computer screen, top of the screen, bottom of the screen, right or left, and then something to face that direction. I'm going to choose to face the top of the screen this particular surface over here, just so I automatically get a sketch reference there. I also want to use the datum plane front as a sketch reference, so I will hold down the right mouse button and choose references, and then pick that plane over there. Let me solve and close. Let's go to our sketch view. And I don't need planes anymore. Let me turn off their display. Uh, let's see, I'm going to throw in a center line so I get some snapping to symmetry in here. So let's sketch in a couple of rectangles. I'll do a rectangle from about here to here. And let's do another rectangle from about here to there. There we go. And let's see, uh, one rule about these features is that it has to be an open sketch and it has to be an open sketch that starts and ends on part geometry. So I'm gonna use my friend Squiggle Trim to get rid of some of these lines here. There we go. Now we have it as an open sketch. Uh, let's see. Let's throw some dimensions in here. I like this one. Let's double click on it. Uh, let's use a value of four for that one. Uh, let's see. I also want the distance from here to here. And let's make that, oops, there to there, middle. You know what? I'm not in dimension mode. Let's hit the dimension icon and then pick what we want to dimension, then middle mouse button. Uh, let's see, I want this to be a value of two. And let's change this to a value of one. And let's change this to a value of two. Okay, so that is the shape of the tab that I'm going to create. Let's hit the check mark. And by the way, I just noticed something that you can double click on dimensions while you're still in dimension mode and change them. I think that's a nice little thing that kind of came under the radar. Let's hit the check mark. Now it's going to ask me for the depth of the ear. That's going to be the thickness of it. And so this ear can have a different thickness than your part, which I think looks kind of weird. Uh, but let's do that intentionally. I think my part's only like a quarter inch thick, but I'm gonna choose a depth of 0.5. Now for the bend radius of the ear, let me also use a value of 0.5. And then the bend angle right now has got 45 degrees. Uh, let's do a value of 60 degrees. And uh, let's do 30 degrees. And so here we have the ear created. And again, for the depth, the depth looks kind of ridiculous because the depth is thicker than the actual part thickness itself. Here we have the ear. We can right click on it and you can choose edit definition. And then you'll have this list in the menu manager of what you want to change. And so for example, I could choose to change in here the attributes and hit done. 
And so this is where you could change from variable and say, hey, I want this to be at a 90 degree angle and choose done. Now we're getting a bit of a failure here. Let's change some of these other different dimensions in here. Let's change this thickness to a value of 0.25. Now it's okay. So again, didn't like it when you have uh, a bigger thickness of the ear than the rest of the part. Let's click on background on the screen to regenerate. So there's an example of it. So I guess, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am struggling a bit to try to figure out, hey, what is the actual value of this feature? I guess it's just because you get this bend in here. Uh, maybe someone had a strong need of designing different tabs in models. But let's change some dimensions one more time. Let's hit the change button over here. And I can choose, hey, let's change. Actually, I think I'm okay with this. If I want to change the angle, it's kind of weird. You don't have it as a dimension. You have to go into edit definition, then go to the attributes over here and click done. And then change this here to variable. And now... I can go over here and then edit. Now I have a dimension that's available for me to modify. Hey, let's change this to 45. And we've got it at the tab there. Now one of the other weird things that I noticed about this, let's say that I wanted sort of like this whole section over here to be bent. I had a hard time trying to change the radius to get a value for that. So for example, let me try to change this to a value of one. And so, let me double click on the screen. I did a radius of one, so it's not going all the way over here. And I started trying to figure out the math for, hey, what would I need in order to get it all the way over there? Well, it's a thickness of 0.25. Hey, let's try, you know, maybe changing this dimension, this radius dimension. If I change it to 1.25, you know, and it then regenerate. You can see that it almost goes all the way up there, but not exactly there. So I couldn't figure out the math if I wanted to have the entire section over here bent up to the bigger section. So, but anyhow, that is the ear feature. I guess if I move my model like this, it sort of looks like an ear sticking off of the side of someone's head. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that everybody is staying safe and staying at home and staying healthy. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much.